Coming up, we'll visit a very special home for very special people. Nearly a foot of snow a week before spring was quite a surprise, but the borough was geared up and ready to respond. Four Fort Lee High School Hall of Famers are hoping to recapture wrestling pride in Fort Lee. Hi, I'm Linda McHugh. Welcome to our March show. Through a partnership with the Borough of Fort Lee and Englewood Cliffs developer Ray Reduce, Bergen County United Way and the Madeline Corporation recently celebrated the opening of Fort Lee's first special needs housing development here on Inwood Terrace. Yay! Yay! This is the culmination of a dream, um, really that began with uh, the Fort Lee Mayor and Council with Mark and his colleagues, which was to uh, build special needs housing uh, in Fort Lee. And those elected folks who said, we want this in our borough, congratulations to you. And Mayor and Council, thank you for what you've done. We're so proud this happened in Fort Lee, and I'm going to tell you, yes, every town should do it. As far as I'm concerned, and I know I speak on behalf of this council, this is the first of many that will happen in this community. Find a spot, let's do it again. Thank you. Thank you. As chair of Human Services in Trenton, I hear from families every day the need for housing, not just housing, but supportive housing that their loved ones are able to live independently and inclusively in a community. We're sitting right now in the, uh, in the living space, the living area of what is a four bedroom group home, a shared home for four individuals, uh, a co-ed mix. Um, there'll be staff here uh, to help these individuals. Uh, they require 24 seven uh, uh, support. And then across the way out these uh, lovely French doors is a patio and that connects to uh, five apartments uh, for folks uh, who have more independence, who may have the ability to work, go to school. And then above is uh, market rate housing. We have 70 towns and my dream, my dream is that every single one of these towns will have a facility or two like this. Fort Lee and other communities that build the supportive housing for people with special abilities, they need to be commended because not every community desires to have in their backyard. But I think the culture is changing, especially that people are becoming more inclusive and supportive, and so that makes Fort Lee an even more vibrant community. Just when you thought spring has sprung, Mother Nature throws you a curveball, but Fort Lee was ready. We go Jane, Catherine, Elizabeth Center, North, New Old North Avenue. Street. We have a fantastic, fantastic group of guys and gals that uh, are on alert between DPW, General Services, OEM, our emergency service agencies. We look at forecasts very early, we prepare. 2.30, we start to get on the road. Did you go to bed last night? Uh, I try to get as much sleep as possible, but with the snow, I, uh, I'm usually up every hour looking out the window. We've actually been monitoring this for over 48 hours. Uh, through OEM has been feeding all the emergency services information as the weather updates are being provided, uh, as the state and county OEM are ramping up, they're feeding us information constantly. We're working with the police department, make sure this, our emergency operations center, which we're in at right now, currently is staffed. So we called in about 40 guys at 2 in the morning. Uh, trucks were all ready the night before, already loaded. We'll probably try to get out of here around 12 o'clock tonight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Later on today, we'll go curb to curb and salt them and, uh, and keep the road safe for the uh, public. These folks and these agencies make us proud every single day, and they're out there 24 hours a day until the impact of this blizzard and storm has completely uh, you know, been removed from the quality of our lives and make sure we're safe. Wrestling is making a comeback in Fort Lee, thanks to a dedicated group of Fort Lee High School Hall of Famers. Four former state and district champions are now coaching the Junior Bridgman wrestling team in hopes of restoring the popularity and enthusiasm that existed when they wrestled for the high school. We're all Fort Lee alumni. We're, we're all wrestled here at Fort Lee. Uh, myself, my brother, Nelson, Robbie Dillon, and Brad Christie, we're all in the, in the Fort Lee Hall of, Wrestling Hall of Fame. 
to come back and get back to the community and, and help out and try to build uh, the infrastructure back to for the rest of where it was. It, it fell off a couple of years and it's trying to bring that back and that, that tradition back. We all volunteer for this, no one gets paid. And uh, you know, you do it for the sport and for the kids. Hopefully, you know, you can get a kid into wrestling, it'll change his life, so that's why I do it. This is just what the high school team needs, all right? And in order to have a, a successful high school, pro high school program, it's very essential and necessary to have a great feeder program, great recreation program, so that these kids learn all the basics, learn actually the high school philosophy. It's just important for us to see that the, the, the level of wrestling here in Fort Lee, basically from the 80s and the 70s when we were a powerhouse back then, um, we had 60 kids on the team, you know, to have 15, 20 kids now is it's a shame. We got a lot of good history here. A lot of champs came out through here and hopefully we can get some more. It's not all just about wrestling, but I want them to understand and I want the parents to understand how, how much wrestling uh, can do for, you know, for their, for their child, whether it be, you know, boy or girl. You know, the things that you learn, the characteristics, the traits, uh, the, the, the talent that you gain you know, from being in the sport of wrestling is going to help you in all walks of life. That's our show for this month. Thanks for joining us again, and we'll see you next time.